Hello guys, Disney Freak 309 here, but we're gonna be dropping the Disney for my name. You can just call me Freak 309 today because we are going to Universal for the first time in my entire life. I'm sorry, Disney, if you're watching, but I'm a traitor. I got my Marvel gear on because they got Marvel stuff in here. We're gonna head into Islands of Adventure and we're gonna explore a theme park for the first time in my life because I don't really know anything about this park from what I've seen. The only thing I've seen is probably like YouTubers and stuff. The adventure begins. You were here in 2018. Were you at Islands and Universal, both parks? I think so. Well, we're about to revisit it, I guess, for the second yeah. time for you and the first for me. Main Street looks a little bit uh, different. Okay, so here's an overshot. That's Hulk. You got the Jurassic Park area, Velocicoaster, Harry Potter. Um, I think that's the Kong area. And then the Dr. Seuss area. Oh my goodness. Let's start at Marvel. Let's do it. Because it's the closest thing to Disney. Okay, so the Hulk ride shoots you out of here. Bro, look at this. It starts off with a crazy loop all the way around. You get like an inversion. Oh my God, I'm so excited for this. It looks crazy. And it's different from Disney because this area opens up at nine, even though some area of the parks are already open at eight. Like I see Velocicoaster running right now. So do you want to wait for the Marvel area at nine and 15 oh, minutes? Let's, let's go somewhere. Okay, well, I guess we'll go towards Seuss Landing. Seuss Landing. I see Horton up there. I love how the signs are also themed to where you have to go. Of course they have green eggs and ham. But my question is, where is my Christmas area for the Grinch? That's, that's what I want to see. Would you like some green eggs and ham when they open up? Not right now. Green egg and ham tots. So it seems like just like Disney, they have like an early admission and it's for people that are staying on site at the resorts or that they have an annual pass. So that's why we're unable to go on anything right now until it hits nine o'clock. So we're gonna start over at the Marvel area and this is all themed to the comics, not the movies because Disney owns the movie rights, Universal owns like the comic book rights, some other stuff. It's a very complicated agreement that they have. Baby. Oh my god guys, I finally made it to Avengers Campus. This is great. Are, are you enjoying the Avengers Campus? Dude, this is great. I love like the, the comic splash pages. It's not actually Avengers Campus, that's in Disneyland. Oh. Oh my god. Looks like the it is. Oh, Hobgoblin. Yo, Liam. Yeah. It's it's the guy from Fortnite right there. Oh, <laughs> it's also the guy from Fortnite. They're they're everywhere. And it's, it's the other guy from Fortnite. They're everywhere. Okay, first up, we're gonna go to the Amazing Adventures of Spider-Man. Oh, they got the uh, animated series version of J. Jonah. The Daily Bugle. Okay, we got our 3D glasses and it's a walk-on since it's literally rope drop. Man nearby, trouble can't be far away. And you know what trouble means. Headlines, national coverage. So don't screw this up. <laughs> Guess that wraps things up. But don't give up your day job. Say cheese. See you later. Okay, what were your thoughts on Spider-Man? Such a such a sick ride. So okay, far. so I knew there was screen involved but I didn't know the amount of like in-person to screen. It was like Ratatouille, but on another level. There was this one part where you like rose up on the building, like I guess you like get floated up to the sky with the gun yeah. and your like ride vehicle is actually like going up. I was not expecting that. That was just, that was not what I was expecting at all. So we have Storm Force, which is like alien swirling saucers. And then we have the Hulk roller coaster. I guess we'll go to Hulk. So you got to put all your stuff in the locker. So I'll come and let you know how it is after the ride. Okay, we just got off Hulk. Liam, this is your most intense ride you've right. ever been on your your entire life. Yeah, I don't I don't go on roller coasters a lot, but that was a lot of fun. Feel a little weak in the knees, and uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun. That was not the most intense ride I've been on in my life, but that was probably over at Great Adventure, one of those rides. I enjoyed it. Um, there's a, you get like a lift hill up, right? And then halfway through the lift hill, they blast you out, and I was not expecting that. It had a ton of inversions. At one point it like stopped. I thought the ride was over. And then like it continued into a few more. 
It was some of them you go through them so slowly so you really like feel it. It's yeah. crazy. Like you're like about to like fall off. And you cannot put anything on the ride. Like there's even metal detectors to make sure you have nothing hidden in your pockets, like coins or wallets. Like it's intense. I don't know how people will get their phones on that ride to record. So if you're looking for a ride through, I'm not the person that you're trying to look at. Don't don't look for it on my channel because I'm following the rules every single ride. We got Captain America behind me. I got the shield on. He's throwing the shield over at Modoc. Why does he look so angry though? Oh, and then there's Thor, Iron Man, Electro. Oh, this is so cool. Shit. They even have Adam Warlock's evil brother. I don't know any of these characters. Like, I'm more of a Marvel movie guy. This, that's Magneto. Oh, you're right. That is Magneto. Do you know who that is? It's also Magneto. That's. Oh, there's. Oh, God. Oh, that's Mag. Oh, my God. I thought it was evil Adam Warlock. Never mind. It's just Magneto with three different versions of him, like, falling off and then landing into superhero landing. Superhero landing. Liam isn't really feeling up to doing Doctor Doom right now, the drop tower, which. I can understand after going on Hulk. I would like to go back on that later though because I kind of like that type of ride. But now we're heading into Toon Lagoon. We're gonna have Popeye here, Betty Boop, and all of those similar characters. That looked like it hurt. There's Betty Boop. I'm not really too familiar with these characters. I was more like the Cartoon Network Boomerang era, so this isn't really the characters that I'm familiar with. Liam, are you actually gonna go underneath the rain cloud? <laughs> Oh my, God. <laughs> oh my god. It's a thunderstorm. I will not go under that. Maybe if it gets hotter out. We got a Popeye statue over here. And I guess we'll head to Jurassic Park over here. I would like to ride Velocicoaster. I heard it's one of the most insane roller coasters of all time. The people dryer. Seven dollars. Well, 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 oh, you bought it. Oh my god. You gotta let me know if this is worth the money. Is it a heater? Oh. That worth seven dollars, guys. Guys, don't waste your money on the That'll people dryer. The, the only thing that we want to go on is the people mover. Sorry. I put an Instagram poll asking if you guys wanted to be satire or Disney adult in this video, and it was like a 50-50 split, so this is your fault for hearing the Disney adult humor. So this area has like a log flume attraction. Not Splash Mountain, but it's like very cartoony. I love it. Oh my god, I think it's Rocky and Bullwinkle over there. Oh my god, that's actually kind of crazy. Right, is, is that Rocky and Bullwinkle and everything? I have no idea. Do you remember Boomers? Oh, yeah. yeah I'm, I'm pretty sure those are the characters that are also there. That, Boomers is a place on Long Island. I'm so excited to go on this. I heard you get soaked on this. So you probably should have waited to use that after. Saw Wars, Oz, they have all like movies. Three Men and a Grizzly. The Silence of the Hands. E.T. Oh my god, this is, I love extremely stylized stuff. This is extremely stylized, I love this. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to record, man. I'm kinda scared I'm gonna drop my phone in the water. <laughs> hey, 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 Beaver. Yeah? Uh, just a moment, how do you do? Never mind, I will not be recording. They weren't kidding that you would get soaked. Liam, did you enjoy the ride? Yes, very, very fun time. Very fun. I can't believe I might say this, but I think I had more fun on that than Splash Mountain. Yeah, right? I loved how it was super cartoony. Like I was saying earlier, I love all of that stuff. This is right up my alley. I would definitely go on this again, but honestly, that ride vehicle was a pain to get in. I had a very hard time fitting very in that thing. Very uncomfortable. If you're in any seat that isn't the very back, your, your back is going to get, uh, like, I was in the very back and I'm soaked. I had a hard time getting in there though. My thighs yeah. were just not fitting in. Yeah, the, the cart is, is like made for nine year olds, I swear. That, that's the only complaint about that ride is uh, maybe make the ride vehicles a little bit bigger for people like me. They have a station that you can pay money and you can soak people that are coming on the ride. I would do it, but I just spent $7 on a dryer that didn't do it. That's funny that like at Disney it's free, but here you gotta pay money to soak other people. Yeah, they say Disney's money hungry. It's time for Kong Skull Island. I think so. Skull Island is my favorite out of all of like the MonsterVerse movies, or That's I mean the, the Kaiju movies. Why? What's your favorite? Probably, uh, if we're talking about like the new MonsterVerse. Yeah, probably, Godzilla, like, um, Kong, Skull Island, King of the Monsters, um, and then like the Skull... first one in 
2014. My only complaint Ew. about that movie is that they killed Brian Cranston in the first like 30 minutes. Just I mean, Elizabeth crazy. Olsen is in that movie, and um, she dates her brother. But what's um, what's his name? Aaron Taylor. Johnson. Aaron Taylor Johnson. Yes. Kong. Oh, they don't call it Skull Island for no reason at all. There, there, there's your reason right there. All of these rides, no video recording. Okay, we just got off Kong, and now I can understand what people mean by Universal uses all screens. It yeah. was all screens. Yeah, and the 3D actually worked on this one, and unlike uh, every ride in Disney. I thought it was my least favorite ride of the day, I gotta be honest. No, this this was too. Like, the 3D was definitely done better on Spider-Man, but this one was still, still fun. You know what now, what time it is? This show building for the Jurassic Park ride is massive. Oh. Are we gonna go on that first or Velocicoaster? Whichever one, uh, I guess whichever one's shorter. First. Jurassic Park River Adventure. idea that most of the rides are universal you're not supposed to record on so for the sake of this video I'm probably just gonna put in clips of like someone who already recorded the ride I don't want to lose my phone what did you think about Jurassic Park because honestly that might have been I don't know my, my favorite ride of the day might have been Spider-Man or Hulk I, uh, I've been on that ride before I love that ride I love Jurassic Park one of my like favorite movies ever uh, I, great ride. I know in um, Hollywood they have a theme to Jurassic World but this one's still Jurassic Park. Now, Velocicoaster, I think, is at like an hour and a half wait, which is crazy. We're in Jurassic Park, but we can still see Hogwarts, so the theming isn't really up to Disney standards. Disney would definitely hide this from other areas. So what I really like about this park is that all of the areas kind of flow into one another. I'm not gonna lie, Disney is kind of confusing because sometimes you gotta like work around, like walk some places to find areas, but this just flows one land into another. We're walking into this one area and we can see Poe and Tigress from Kung Fu Panda. So we are now walking into like the, um, what is it, mythical? Well, what is this called, like Atlantis area? So we found out this area is called the Lost Continent. That looks pretty cool. So it's 11.20 and I got us a reservation for Mythos, which is one of the best theme park restaurants supposedly at 11.45. So we're gonna eat there in like 25 minutes. I was looking at the menu earlier. I think I'm gonna get the pad thai, but I'm gonna take a closer look at the menu. So this is called Mythos. It is one of the highest rated restaurants in any theme park. Okay, so I got the pad thai. I heard this is one of the best dishes. It has chicken and shrimp in it, of course, noodles your uh, crispies and everything and the friends i'm with got the lamb burger and those are the biggest buns i've like ever seen before i thought lunch was really good liam did you enjoy your burger because i thoroughly enjoyed my pad thai dude yes yes it was so it was so good one of the best burgers i've ever had in my life i definitely listen i'm not really the big you know i don't really know anything about this park but from what i had i would say it was a good experience the atmosphere was really cool it was all you know, you're surrounded by rocks, all pretty lights. You had like the neon with the purple. Definitely suggest Mythos if you guys are over coming to Island's Adventure. We're gonna be heading over to Seuss Landing to ride the scary cat in the hat ride. So I went on both Dr. Seuss runs. I got the, uh, the, the one that goes on top that shows you the land, the monorail type ride. I also went on the dark ride. I thought the Dr. Seuss ride was a little bit scary. It wasn't as bad as people made it out to be, but the fish had a very weird accent. What did the fish sound like? Uh, he sounded like a Jewish stereotype, like Mort Goldman. <laughs> you gotta say guy. it now. He was like, your mother's here. <laughs> We're gonna head over to whatever the Harry Potter area is. Is it, um, is it Hogsmeade? Is yeah. It, okay, it's Hogsmeade. Diagon Alley is Studios. Now, I've watched three or four of the Harry Potter's movies and I read three of the books. Everyone thinks Harry that, Potter. Everyone thinks I'm a Harry Potter guy. I'm not really. I'm a Hufflepuff though, so let me know what your Hogwarts house is in the comments down below. Forbidden Journey, 
mean, that is a ride where you gotta put all your stuff in a locker. So I honestly love that ride. I think it's my favorite ride of the day. It's very similar to Soren with like the screen based elements and your, you know, your feet are dangling, but they take it to a whole nother level. I would give it a 10 out of 10, but definitely ride it multiple times over and over again. There was a part where I got scared. I won't spoil it, but something appears out of nowhere. My my heart kind of dropped for a second. <laughs> What's so funny, Chuckles? Liam's laughing at me. I don't like scary things. We're gonna head over to Hagrid's Motorbike Adventure, which I've heard amazing things about. No, don't panic. I'll just, uh... oh no. Looks like you've lost power. That was one of the coolest roller coasters I've ever been on. I didn't really know, like I knew what it was like, but I didn't know to that level. Now it's time to try some butter beer. Okay, we got a butter beer. I don't know what it's gonna taste like. I'm going to assume not like beer because if it tastes like beer, I'm gonna hate it. There's some white foam at the top. I got the regular version, by the way. They come in frozen and hot as well. It's better than blue and green milk. That's even better than cream soda. Oh my god, I got like a white mustache. And after that butter beer, I did almost everything I wanted to get done here at Islands at Adventure. So I think we're gonna make our way out of the park and we're gonna come back another day to do some of the other rides that I missed. I will be going to the main Universal Studios park, but that will be a totally separate vlog. Make sure you stay subscribed as you will see that video in a couple of days from now, I'm sure. I definitely will be coming back to this park again. I had a great time. I was actually more surprised about how much fun I had. I did not think I was gonna have much fun but I'm definitely gonna make time in the future when I come down to the Florida parks to visit Disney and everything else that Disney has to offer. I'm gonna make some time to make sure I can stop by Universal Studios and Islands of Adventure because I had a fun day here. I was definitely not expecting to have this much fun, but if you guys enjoyed this video, just make sure to subscribe, leave a like, comment, let me know if you've ever been to Universal Studios or Islands of Adventure. See you guys next time.